Hey guys, Mr. L here. So we are now looking at lesson four in the first module, identifying proportional and non-proportional relationships and tables. And when we look at this, we immediately see that our function tables are blank, which means we're going to need to fill in all aspects of it, which is okay. We'll get through it. Um, so the classwork says you have decided, uh, I'm sorry, example, which team will win, win the race. Uh, you have decided to walk in a long distance race. There are two teams that you can join. Team A walks at a constant rate of 2.5 miles per hour. Team B walks four miles the first hour and then two miles per hour after that. Create a table for each team showing the distances that will be walked for times of one, two, three, four, five, and six hours uh, using your tables and say the questions that follow. So what we need to do is we need to make a prediction first if we want to join team A or team B. And I have my answer. I'm curious as to what you think is gonna be. If we look at them, team A walks at a constant rate of 2.5. So for every hour, we're gonna walk 2.5 miles. Team B, in the first hour walks four miles. So they're much faster in that first, but then after that, they're only walking two miles an hour after that. So that definitely changes our numbers, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna fill out this function table and figure out what our uh, final rates are gonna be. So the time in hours, we're gonna have a constant here, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Same thing over here, three, four, five, six, okay? The distance that they walk for every one, it's 2.5, okay? So then for two, two times 2.5 is five, three is 7.5, four would be 10, which is just double two, four, Five, it would be 12.5. And I adding another, I can either add 2.5 to each of them, or I can multiply six times 2.5, uh, and here it's gonna get me to 15. So in the end, the total distance was 15 miles. Over for team B, and actually, actually I'm gonna write my 2.5, and over here it's four, then, two okay so it's going to change so the first mile they walk four miles which puts them ahead of team a however we're not done because after that they're only going two miles an hour after that so we're adding another two miles so four plus two it would be six and this we've got to do a little bit different i've got to add another two hours each time eight do you see it yet ten 12, 14. So in the end, team B is walking only 14 miles. Okay? So even though in that first leg, it looked like they were going to be walking much faster because they slowed down and the other team stayed at a steady pace, then the team A got ahead. So my prediction was team A, because I, you know, slow and steady wins the race, right? Uh, so the question for A is for which team is distance proportional to time? Proportional, meaning it has to be the same equivalent number each time, okay? And here, we know that this was four and then two. Well, this one was 2.5. So let's go with team A. Team A, because, we like this word because, because why? Well, because it was walking, by it, I mean team A, I know I say not to use the word it, walking at 2.5 each hour which is proportional, okay? Uh, and B, explain how you know dis, explain how you know distance, 
that should say the distance for the other team is not proportional to time. And it's not proportional, so it is not proportional. Why? Why is it not proportional? Oh, yeah, right? Because not all rates were the same. Right? Because the first one was four, and then it was two after that, okay? And I'm sorry, I hope you guys can read my scrawl. My um, cursor doesn't appear to be working very well here. All right, C, there's a lot for this one, right? So here we go. At what distance in the race would it be better to be on team B than team A? Well, at what point, if this was, remember, it was four, and this is better, and six is better, and eight is better, but then here at 10, it's not better. In fact, it is equal because this is 10. I'm sorry, no way writing is bad. This is 10. So we know that that's equal. So for half of the race, it looks like it would be better to be on team B. So however you want to say this, I'm going to say it would be better. There's a lot of Bs in here. Alliteration, right? On B until what mark? What mark did it even out? Until the four-hour mark. Until the four-hour mark. And there's lots of ways that you can say that. We just need to say that it was a greater distance on team B up until we reach that four hour mark. Good. Okay. If the members on each team walked for 10 hours, how far would each member walk on each team? Well, there's a couple different ways to do this. So we could potentially take team A and say it's 10 hours, and we know that each time we just multiply times 2.5. Well, 2.5 times 10 should very easily be able to solve that because I just moved my place value, so that's going to be 25 miles. And for team B, well, if this was 6 miles, I need to walk another 4 miles, so then I can do 4 times 2, right, because 4 miles at 2 miles an hour more that gets me eight, but I need to add the eight to the distance that I've already walked here. So that's gonna end up getting me to 14 plus eight to get me to 22 miles. Still better to be on team A. So if members in each team walk for 10 hours, how far would each member? And we can actually put our work down here. So team A is 10 times 2.5 equals 25 miles. Team B, we can do it a couple of different ways, right? So if we write this as a as an expression, we would have 2 up to 10, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine or eight because we need nine more miles right so nine times two but then plus four because we walked nine miles because the first mile was at four so nine times two plus four equals 22 miles E, will there always be a winning team no matter what the length of the course? Why or why not? Well, yeah. I mean, we see in this formula that no matter how hard team B tries, if they only walk two miles an hour, once they get behind, they're always behind because A just keeps walking. So will there always be a winning team? Yes, because 
team A is always at, what is the rate? The rate is 2.5 mph, miles per hour. Okay. If the race is 12 miles long, which team would you choose to be on if you wish to win? Why would you choose this team? I'm not going to give you the answer here because we've discussed this so many times. So I'm going to have you do this on your own and make sure that you uh, understand what we're doing here. And 